Hello, Greg Lesser for Online Tennis Instruction. And I recently worked with two students in a serve clinic here in Munich. And I found that both the students, when they were setting up for their serve, they weren't quite getting into the right elbow position. So they would get here, and then when they, when they would make their right to left, their elbow would come forward. So now the elbow wouldn't be in line with their shoulders. Ideally, what you want to do, you want to get into this position here, where there's a nice line between the elbow and the two shoulders like this. For these players, one player would start here and then move the elbow forward, and the other player just wouldn't quite get there, it would set up this way. Let me show you again. So a simple drill to do, this is following up from one of the videos I did on throwing, is to simply think about how you would throw a ball. So I had both these students just get the weight to the back foot and work on throwing. You see when I do that, you just naturally turn away from the target and you get into this good elbow position. Let's watch this again. I'm going here. Just had them throw nice and easy. So just warming up the arm. But get the weight to the back foot, and you start, almost naturally get to this position. So you want to do that over and over. Then you want to relate it to throwing when you set up for your serve. So now you just want to think that you get, of getting the weight in the back foot, just think of setting up like you're going to throw. What they'll do will help you get into that good elbow position. So watch it again. Throwing this way. Now, the other thing to look out for is, you know, when your racket moves from the right side of your body over your head, try to keep your elbow back in this position. A common mistake players make is when they bring this forward, this edge, they bring the elbow forward. So you want to delay that. You want to keep the elbow back complete the right part of the, the right to left. When the racket drops down and away from your back, then the elbow will start to move forward. So if you find you're not getting into this good position with your shoulders and your elbow, just start by throwing. Make sure you get the weight to the back foot. And most players naturally get into this position. And then just translate that over when you, when you grab your racket and start serving. Hey guys, this is James from the OTI coaching team. Let's take a closer look at this in super slow motion. So Greg begins by turning his upper body away from the target, getting into this fully coiled position right here. Now as you can see, Greg has got his elbow into this key position here, creating this line between his elbow and both shoulders. Now as Greg begins the right to left motion over his head, note how his elbow stays back in this position right here, and now it begins to move around as the racket drops down into the racket drop position. But it's key that you delay this and not have the elbow move around too early, since this is a very common problem we see with players. So let's take a look at this one more time in super slow motion. The serve is of course the most important shot in tennis and because so many players struggle with it we now started offering one day serve clinics and these serve clinics will break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.